Hello everyone, today we're checking out Toneforge Mission Mansur plugin from Joey Sturgy Tones. Alright, so I wrote a very short song to demonstrate the plugin. I didn't mix this, but I've used the plugin on bass, on keys, on synthesizers. And what I'm going to do is to go through every instance of the plugin and check out how I've used it. So let's start with the bass. I know this is a guitar plugin, but I really like the effects section on this plugin. So I had some fun and used the chorus, actually. So. Let's check out how it sounds with and without the, the chorus. All right, so as you can see, the chorus sounds very, very cool. Uh, it's not very usual these days to, to use chorus on bass, but why not? I'm testing the plugin, it sounds good, so I've used it. Then I'm also using the EQ, uh, just uh, taking a bit of mids and adding a bit of 5k and 10k, yeah. I'm scooping the mids and adding some treble. Very simple, I like it. And then finally, I'm using the compressor as well. Let's hear with and without the compressor. So, as you can see, it has a very slow release. Sounds good. Oh, uh, I didn't see you there. Yeah, let's move on to the rhythm guitars. So I think it sounds much better with the plugin. I'm joking. The first thing on the signal path is the uh, precision drive emulation from Artisan devices. It's a kind of like a tube screamer, but a slightly different sound and some extra features such as the attack knob and the, the gate knob. Let's see how it sounds with and without the pedal.
to me it adds some extra saturation and I like it so I'm going to keep it. Then we have the amp section. It's very simple. We have three channels, clean, crunch and lead. Three different sounds on each. And then the, per, the EQ, low, mids, high, tight, saturation, per, top end, presence and range, harmonics and compressor. Let's uh, tweak all the knobs, all the buttons and see if we can get a better sound or if we like this one. Oh yeah, I'm adding a bit of 3K and some 7K. And then finally we have a compressor. I like it, it's controlling some of the, the uh, higher peaks. Let's move on now to the lead guitars. Uh, precision drive in front, then I like this uh, gain section or gain type. And then let's check out the cabs. Um, you have six different cabs, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can also load your own impulse responses. The one I like the most is the JST matched cab. Let's check out the, the rest. Yeah, so the ML Sound Lab also sounds good because it's um, it's quite scooped and sometimes in a mixed context it can be handy to have something with less meets. But I'm gonna keep this one and the awesome effect section. Uh, I'm using delay and chorus. Let's check out with and without the, all the effects. Yeah, so it's a very obvious difference. Now let's check out with and without the, the chorus. So this chorus makes everything sound bigger. I like it. And then the delay also sounds good. Uh, the tape sound on this plugin sounds incredible. Uh, the stereo as well. Let's hear the difference. So you have uh, you have the typical uh, parameters, but. There's one I really find interesting, which is the this button that lets you choose between pre and post. So yeah, so it almost sounds like I'm I'm playing two different things. So it's cool. Okay, so then we have the EQ. I'm taking just a tiny bit of 240 hertz 
and then uh, adding a bit of 10k let's hear the difference very very subtle and then finally we have the compressor again I'm not sure if I'm doing any gain reduction let's see okay, so, yeah. so it's not making any gain reduction but I remember it sounded better with um, some gain reduction Yeah, so just controlling some of the peaks, I, I like it. I'm just using the delay, the EQ, and clipping the input, and that's it. Oh, sounds very cool. And then uh, we also have a synth bass. Let's listen. My mouse is freaking out today, I'm sorry. Maybe we can use the chorus, why not? Sounds good. And then we can add some uh, 1.5k hertz, I think. Just adding that extra buzz to the sound, I like it. And then finally the compressor. Cool, let's move on to the clean guitar. That sounds cool. I need to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back in a minute. All right, so let's move on to the last thing, which is the solo guitar. I'm using the reverb, which we haven't seen yet. So, again, chorus. I'm overusing chorus, I know, but I really like it. So, that's, I'll keep using it until I get sick of it. But at the moment, for now, I really like it. And yeah, just sounds, it just sounds very good. So anyway, let's listen. First, without the effects.
the, the spread is basically the stereo width. So at 100% is a, as stere stereo as possible and at zero it's completely mono. Alright, so we also have a very cool function which is the plus two. <laughs> Very simple, you can get a, a, a nice sound without much tweaking. Okay, so that's it. Uh, that's how I've made the plugin sound. That's my demo of this plugin. If you like it, I'm gonna leave the link in the description for you to check it out. And uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, subscribe and hit the bell button and leave a comment saying uh, something cool uh, or not cool. I don't know. Whatever you want. I'll see you next time and thank you for watching. Bye bye.